Hi everybody, it's Jen Sheffer, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple settings in Google Chrome, uh, specifically the appearance section that I think you might find useful. So you can be anywhere in Google Chrome, and I'm going to hover over here on the top right on those three dots, right next to my profile picture where I can customize and control Google Chrome. So I'm gonna go down into settings. And as I mentioned, I just wanna point out a couple things in the appearance section that I have personally found helpful and you may also find these tips helpful. Uh, the first thing I wanna mention is that we can change the font size, which is medium as the recommended default font size. For me personally, um, I really need my font size to be larger for my own personal vision preferences. So I'm at the point in my life where I need to make this larger. I can see it much better. So that, again, that's for me personally. If I click here, you can see you can do uh, very small all the way up to very large. So I just want to mention that in case you weren't aware of it. The other thing you can also do is customize fonts. So if I tap on customize fonts, there's different um, styles of fonts and Google gives us a line of text to show us the difference between the standard font versus serif, sans serif, and the fixed width font. So you can change those if you'd like as well to customize your experience in uh, your Chrome. The other thing you can do that I just want to point out is making sure that uh, Google Chrome is your default browser, so you'll want to ensure of that. The other thing I want to mention is that the on the startup area here, the default is to open the new tab page, but you could change that. You could make it continue where you left off, so it's like your session has never ended and all the tabs you were using will appear, or this might be really helpful to you as well. You could or as an alternative, you could select open a specific page or a set of pages. And if you do that, you can click on add a new page and you can put the URL of the site that you always want to have open when you start a Chrome session. So this might be really helpful to you if you always visit your virtual classroom or you're always going to Seesaw. If there's a certain website that you want to um, launch when you start Chrome, you can customize it there. So just wanted to point those three things out to you. What you can customize on the startup page, making sure Chrome is your default browser, which you probably did when you synced your account for the very first time. Wanted to point out the customizing fonts options and the font size. So um, hopefully this was helpful and I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials.